Now, ladies and gentlemen, the image that's on the left I'll be pulling out for you here so happens to be a bird. And within the bird is a body laying, and they're flying. This person's head here, an eye and an eye, and he's kissing and loving, and it's nested with inside the body of the bird. This is of Leonardo da Vinci. This is in my painting. Here's his head and his eye and an eye, but he also has his eyes on the other side. He can make eyes and heads and end up uh, 360 degrees looking at you. He's a genius. His head is so happens to be on top of this head that's circled right here with an eye and an eye and a nose. This particular image is identical to this particular image which is of Sali. And Sali is written right here S A L A I. This was pulled out of the Mona. This particular image right here that pulled out of the Mona is the same image as this, which is what they x-rayed the face of, which is here. This is what it is, the same. So I have many images. This is a particular smaller image. This is the main image of my man, which is of this whole area here is this whole area and this I overlaid over the top here for uh, the shot to show that this is the same as this when you look at it at the distance so with that in mind okay here's the trick that I want you to see see Leo is a copy machine been trying to tell you that for seven years okay so this image here we're going to be showing you what he does here if you look there's an outline of a bird and it's a little bit more lumpier than this but that's that's to fool you but watch what I do when I go to curves and then I go to negative color and 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 Watch what you see on another type deal that he does. In here, uh, next to the bird, he has an eye, an eye, and a nose, and a mouth of a body of himself. And he's hugging, it looks like a teddy bear, right here, which is above the head of the bird, of the big body. He repeats it. And then when you continue to look at this, when you take this back out and you really start squinting and looking you can see these faces that it repeats in copy machine as these faces and these birds so here's the bird then there's another bird that's a little bigger and and he, he and then he's got him over here so he's got a bird on top of another bird like making love and it continues then he makes a big teddy bear and, and a big like horse with another type uh, bears for the ears. This is a picture of the Mona Lisa, okay, in the hands area. And for you to understand, watch this for you to understand. Let's see if it's here. When you overlay this and you pay attention to the heart that's in the sand, it comes out right on the same color of the notch that sits there near the middle knuckle. Okay? And then when you see this middle notch knuckle and you go and get another Mona so you don't lose your point and you blow it up in here there is a heart that is in here that will show but I'm gonna have to go and see if I can pull it I go to image go to adjust go to curves and I'm gonna go again see if I get lucky I haven't done this yet color negative 
and see if the heart comes out. I don't see the heart come out. I don't see it, but that don't mean I'm not going to give up on it for the reason is because Leo is very, very, very tricky and he has this tendency to hide it in his colors. I know what it looks like, that's for sure. So I'm going to try negative or invert, I mean. Then I'll go to image, I mean, um, curves again. see for some reason it's in this area no but let me show you what is in this area so along the way that you're trying to find out where he's hiding it he has a person here with an arm and that's another thing when you got to keep remembering where these little images are because he moves them so Right in here area would be the little tiny the little tiny heart area. But then I have found it also in this area. So I know he moves it, but where that shows up is very difficult. So anyway. I hope you understand. Don't forget, let me show you one other thing before we say goodbye. So you guys know that I'm actually dealing with a Leonardo da Vinci painting. It is the painting in which is a lost painting that I have found out of my warehouse buyouts. It is the greatest painting on the planet, in my opinion, because it's got over 55 years in it that so happens to have Leo's diary. And with that in mind for you to know, I got well over 1,000 YouTubes. And there's the Mona. It's the in the x-ray of the Medeon. It's the same. It's the same girl. And for you to also know one more thing before we go. One more, sorry. I do this every time. So you got to get used to my YouTube's. <laughs> you got to get to my used to my YouTube's because I can't help myself by showing off a Leonardo da Vinci painting. I can't help it. It's just one of those things. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry because it takes my breath away. Okay. The woman in the Last Supper is the younger Mona Lisa. This is the older Mona Lisa. The man is Jesus. And it so happens to put this mustache on Jesus and wear a hat. They're twins. He serenades her. He has a ring hanging in his finger. He's proposing to Mary. This is Mary. This is Leonardo. It is Sali. It is Melzi. It is Katharina. It is also Giaconda. It is. Uh, many stylists portrayed into one woman that has the same exact similarities as his other paintings. And I was going to say goodbye, but I'll show you one more to prove it for you to understand that it is the same stylist that Leonardo da Vinci does because he does. And this is the same woman that he would use as his Mary, Madonna, older woman. They're gorgeous. The three angels. God bless you all. Please subscribe. Pass it on to a friend. Put it in the group. Put it into Facebook, Twitter, or anything you like. Now, with that, I want you to know that may God bless the whole world, the universe, and the heavens. 
allow you to understand to have social distance, wear a mask and wash your hands. And don't forget, we are trying to save each other and to have a good time and protect and to enjoy this beautiful world in which God has given us. And let's keep it clean. Okay? An imagination of beauty uh, by the greatest artists on the planet. And I have been blessed to own it. Do you have any comments? Um, it has my emails down below in the comment area. All right. Thank you. Amen.